converting your prospects into leads using social media. When anyone tends to give you his or her contact details, it might not necessarily mean that he or she is ready to have a sales conversation. It is important to nurture your potential audience to a point when they become ready to have a sales conversation. However, in order to nurture them, you require some method through which you can stay in touch with them for a longer duration of time. Audience aggregation is one of the methods businesses use in this case. In this method, you simply aggregate the audience at one place and then you continue to deliver multiple messages at various point of time. There are various channels to do audience aggregation. One of the most common channels is social media. In this session, we'll give you understanding of the concept of audience aggregation and go into details of how effectively you can do that using social media. In order to set the context right, let me show you a graph. This is a bell graph that represents the distribution of kind of people who usually visit a website. Do not really get stuck on the figures. The idea here is that the majority of people who are visiting your website are not really ready to have sales conversation or are not really there to buy your products. It's not that they will never buy, but they are just not ready to buy at this stage. But if you leave them, you would or you might leave them forever. On the other hand, you can take the burden of maturing them and addressing their concerns while they are moving from the stage where they are not ready to buy anything at this stage to a stage when they are ready to purchase. The chances are that you can eventually turn them to customers. This is the main advantage of audience aggregation. Another major advantage that we see where audience aggregation plays a major role is getting the dropouts back into the funnel. All of us as marketers are aware of marketing funnel. Like here, you start by getting user eyeballs and move people ahead. Get them aware of the kind of products and services that you have and then make sure that they are really considering your products. Here, the critical element is not the way you have defined your funnel. No matter the kind of funnel that you have, at every stage there will be dropouts. Now, the main concern is how are you treating those dropouts? Is there a way through which you can get these dropouts back into the funnel? Audience aggregation is a method to do that. What you can do is all the people who are dropping out, you can get them aggregated somewhere and continue to deliver a message such that they mature in their buying process. And at the right time, they will actually come back into the marketing funnel and might give you business as well. So what exactly is audience aggregation? As mentioned earlier, that during audience aggregation, you bring your audience together in one platform. Like you see here, there is a field in which all the plants are planted at one place. And then what exactly you do? You sprinkle content. You put a nurturing content so that they mature in their buying process. Some of the potentials at times will become ready to be harvested in the form of high potential leads which can further be converted into customers. Let me tell you, this process is an ongoing process. Okay. You will continue to aggregate audience, you will continue to keep nurturing them and at right time you would continue to keep harvesting them or some of them will continue to keep contacting you as high potential sales ready inbound leads. One of the places where you can aggregate audience is social media, which is which can either be Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn group or any other social network where it is possible for you to stand at a pedestal and distribute your message ongoingly. Here is an example of a company called Kissmetrics, which is in the space of providing analytics tool. They have aggregated audience on Twitter and have a following of about 100,000 people. Every time they 
put in some content on their blog, they simply sprinkle it out to the audience that they have aggregated on Twitter. Here if you see, they have a blog post on 5 reasons email marketing crushes social media marketing. And they have just posted a link over Twitter. And if you look at the number of people who have clicked on this in the first few hours, you would notice that Twitter is the one that is majorly driving the traffic. Close to around 440 people have clicked and around 13 people on Hootsuite, which is another client of Twitter. Therefore, through Twitter, they have got around 470 to 440 odd people or visitors on their website or blog, whatever you want to mention. The idea here is that they have aggregated audience on Twitter and now they are maturing their thinking based on the kind of offering that they have by sprinkling the right set of content at the right time. In a way, this is also helping them in their content marketing efforts by giving them the first level of organic reach for their content. Thank you very much. We will be exploring it in detail in the actual session. Thank you.